All right. You know me, man. I try to keep it compact and to the point. Uh, this is what can happen when you can be allotted the time to sit down. You, I know y'all hear people saying they receive downloads or like cold transmission. But pretty much what that is, is at some point, the neurons, the synapses, the biochemistry within our bodies is connecting with higher vibration, vibrationatory frequencies. So, our cosmos are changing and forever evolving and, and building and destroying just like we are. Every day or at the end of death, they said it's like 18 tons of dead skin that we've shed in a, you know, in a full lifetime. You gotta you know, live in a full life. So we're constantly building and destroying and so is our universe. So is the so is the our galaxy, is the uh, uh, all of the cosmos. They're constantly building and destroying and upgrading. You know, upgrade might have the same look, but ality of it is upgraded. You see what I'm saying? Higher tones and frequencies and pitches be emitted when they receive these upgrades and it transmits to us now uh, these brothers have been teaching about this shit for years like I was just sitting with my wife today and just like reflecting back like fuck I've been in this information like even before I uh, I actually ever seen or even got a Phil Valentine tape or a Bobby Hemmett tape. Uh, you know, I was in it before them, you know, studying. And unfortunately, I had the I had the fortunality of being able to sit down in prison and actually do something useful with my time besides going down there and you know doing what they do, even going to work down. There. They stop even writing cases on me because it's like I didn't come here to work. <laughs> if I wanted to do that, I would have been free. I probably wouldn't have got caught in the middle of the day beating up one of your officers. Hey, if I was at work. So if I wanted to work, I would have did that at home. I'm paying for this with my time. So I'm here. I don't have to do nothing you say here. Don't. And I'm not. So they pretty much left me alone after that. And, uh, man, I fucking went in. Uh, I studied, studied, meditated, learned a lot of my meditation. Uh, a lot of the, 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 the fundamentals of meditation. I learned the fundamentals of yoga, wadis. Uh, a lot of this I learned in prison. This is, like I said, this was 80, uh, not 80, uh, 90. 98, 99, you know, early 2000, you know, 2000, and where I'm into this stuff, and people around me looking crazy, like when they, I, I feel them when they say, you had to know somebody, because, you know, motherfuckers just didn't talk about this kind of alternative information, so here we are, 25 years later, I was 18, Hey, 18, 25, 30, yeah, 18, 17, well, hey, uh, my father was, he, I ain't gonna say he, he read in the coat studies and did all of that stuff, but he was an artist, so he was in tune himself, and uh, now that I think back, that nigga was an occultist, and how he approached his being here, how uh, he handled 
family, us. You know, you knew that you loved him, but it was to a point where you knew that he was going to take care of him. And you can't be mad at that. You have to understand that. He'll do what he can. If he can help you, he will. But ultimately, when it boils down to it, hey, I came in here by myself just like everybody else came in, unless you came with a twin. So you have to figure this shit out. You have to use your own mind, your own eyes, your own sense. These are shit I heard growing up. So coming along here, Bobby, Phil, later on, A.A. Rashid, Panic, and they're talking about his magic and all of these things. And it was like, oh, guys. My father was a cultist the whole fucking time, <laughs> right? So, but it's 25 years later. And, I, you know, just out of the respect for the dudes. You know, when you, you check out somebody and, you you know, they dropping some shit like, oh, shit, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you support, so I got a field tape. One of my, one of my close friends put me up on field. Because, you know, I wasn't a YouTube person. I'm going to go get it in these books and 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 read the references in the back where they getting it from. So when I hear Bobby say it about your scholarship, I'm like, nigga, that's that's normal base studying anyway. No, you gotta tell people that. So I felt them. So when she hooked me up on field, I think I just got on and I was uh I said. And I think it was his 10th hour one, that somatic death. Yes. Uh oh, let the honey out. Yeah, it was a somatic death, 10 hours. So, fuck, you know. I had a little gig, get, did this gig, did my little gig, came home and said, and she, you know, talking, rapping with her. And she was like, hey, man, check this. Because he be on like some of the shit you be on. You know, because I also did a little uh, study in a, like, you know, like the acupuncture. You know, I touched everything. But what I was fascinated to was, like, Anatomy of Man. So I grabbed that book by all and fucking, oh, I fucking studied that book. The Anatomy of Man. Oh, my goodness. Yes, that was my favorite. And I wound up leaving it to a brother down in prison, too, because he had the same zeal about it as I did, so. She was like, yeah, check this brother out, man. He be on the same kind of shit. So I listened to him, I vibe with I said, I'm buy one of his. Then, uh, you know, with YouTube, they give you uh, videos like and all of that shit. So Bobby came up, so I checked out Bobby. And Bobby was just like fucking <laughs> one of my goddamn uncles that be used to be at the crossroads, the little place we used to call the crossroads. And that's ironic. <laughs> but a little, little, you know, there used to be a corner store right there with a liquor mom and pop, liquor store mom and pop restaurant. But it was owned by black folks. It was owned, it was owned by us. You know what I'm saying? And uh, he used to be up there. That's who Bobby reminded me of. But he was he was dropping some 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 pertinent information. So, 25 years later. And it hit it like it's been, I've been getting the downloads, and everybody don't receive downloads the same. Everyone don't be in meditation. Everyone doesn't be in a fucking quiet room with nice music playing. No, 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 no. No, everybody doesn't. And then, if, especially if this has been how your mind has been framed and then when you go into yours like with them with them, them brothers laid down i seen it myself and i yet to this day i still cannot explain what i saw and what i felt but all i knew it was everything all at once everything everywhere that, I, that's that's the I'm that's the, just the gist of it, from my experiences, and uh, my wife was saying telling me today like no, you know everybody you don't have to 
always you may not be a seer in that way where you know where do you think people have intellect that actually be their intuition so my wife helps me out a lot because I didn't sit and, and, and you know paid to go attend a few of the virtual lectures and uh, I haven't been to a live lecture but you know pretty much catch it when I can catch it or uh, always reading on something studying something in this in on that right so uh, pretty much been receipt getting them uh, uh, right before this corona hit like they were uh, Dr. Aleem and, and, and Panic was talking about fucking turpentine. And I'm like, well, ain't that some shit? Because, like, November, back in November, going to December, like, we don't know this shit is really hitting. Back in November, going to December, we have been really beginning to really, really work with pines and eastern red cedars, juniper oralis cedars, uh, which are the juniper berries. And really, you know, working with them plants and, you know, getting that good medicine with, you know, as far as doing the sage, uh, sage, cedar, and pine bundles, pine bundles, cedar bundles. What? Titanium farm system. All right. Yes, sir. Uh, but uh, we start, start working with cedars and pines. Tough, 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 tough. So I'm going to say about a month and a half ago. You know, I got this cedar stuff, Mars Killer. Go kick it with my engine folks, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, we collecting pine and cedar and we got plenty of white sage and mullein and all this. So I'm like <laughs> just sitting there one day and it was like, it was like I was being remote controlled. I was on the computer and I just stopped got up, went there, took the pine because I, I was drying it out, took it down. Grabbed the pine bunch, grabbed the cedar bunch, and then said, uh, okay, fuck it. Let me grab some of this white sage. Grab the white sage. Hey, where the bottles? See, what are you doing? So I, said, uh, I don't know. We got this 190 proof. Got this 190 proof here, so I'm finna, uh, yeah, because, you know, I like to mess with tinctures and I like to extract the essence from shit. And I like to use spirits to do it. So I'm like, I, yeah, I'm finna, I need the bottles. Just give me the bottles. So get the bottles. And I chop them up, chop, 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 break them up. Stuff them in the bottle, pour this shit on top. And so she like, what's that? I said, so it's cedar, pine. Pine, uh, cedar, cedar leaves and branches, pine needles, little bark, and fucking uh, white sage. Put them in a bottle, pull the lick on. And so I'm saying like this, clearing like, just said for me to make it is like energy clearing. So like cool. So it come around to the coronavirus. Come around to this time. And so I'm like sitting there looking at this shit and it's like grab it and me I'm the experimental type very experimental I'm going to start grabbing and I'm, and I'm knowing what pine is used for knowing what cedar is used for knowing what sage knowing that you can ingest all of it I'm like huh I wonder if this shit so I take it and it tastes like death it's fucking green like hulk and it's like oh phew, phew. Ha! So come around. These niggas dropped this nine-hour video. The field dropped what he dropped, and I'm saying to myself, "Holy shit!" So something was moving me into these directions because, like they say, turpentine was used to, to clean you out, per it. Uh, castor oil, all of that. Like I, I remember all of that growing up. I don't think that the formulas to them are the same now. But so, we 25 years later, man. We have to stop trying to experience through other people's experience and allow how you 
receive to be received because mine is a bunch of aha on some shit that may have been discussing I may have been studying up on two three four months half a year ago and I and run it down and my wife be like I knew it was coming <laughs> you know I knew it, I was like damn I've been waiting on it I knew it was coming and that's how I received mine and I'm thinking it's intellect because I've read so much no 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 all I did was strengthen my intuition Thought you were giving it to me. Thought you were gonna go in. Yeah, but all I was really doing information really was strengthening my intuition. Things that I already know. So, what these videos are, what them, what them brothers did by dropping the information, it wasn't for then, it was for now. But what they were doing. Like we we didn't build pyramid we don't in our era we didn't build pyramids we didn't build temples to the sun and temples to the moon we didn't build mounds and burial mounds and and and, and megalithic structures to leave our information out from what the ancestors before us left and that the ancestors before them left I'm saying how the fuck are we gonna leave it? We ain't building no pyramids and monuments and all of that, all of that shit. We ain't building none of that shit. How we gonna leave it? And it hit me today after this nigga said nine hours, nine hours, eight hours and fifty minutes, breaking down this coronavirus and basically what you are and like being. So the thing that they were saying it was like, oh shit, you remember that? Oh that shit. That, when that, that realization hit me back in fucking 2000, I remember when that realization hit me in 2002, yeah, brought it all back. And I'm saying, that's it. That's how we're going to, not just books, them videos. Them video, video is a fucking scroll, fucking cuneiform, a fucking emerald tablet, a fucking hieroglyph. On all of these pyramidal walls, all of these uh, 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 fucking mounds, megalithic structures, mega metholith, uh, megalithic structures. That's what these videos are. That's what them brothers was doing. So y'all want to know what the niggas was doing? It's putting the pyramids together. You watching it with this. What the, what, what, what the brothers was doing They call it the conscious community But this is so much bigger This is so much bigger Than a conscious community The riff raff and the fighting Them people don't associate themselves with that Though they may associate with some of the people The riff raff and all of that Them people ain't they, We don't deal with that I've had my run-ins with the, some of these people, and I laughed at myself today. I said, man, I've been studying this shit damn 25 years, 20, 30, 25, 20, 20 years, man. The fuck I was doing arguing with motherfuckers that ain't even 20 years old or 25 years old. I'm not saying nothing to, to deal with age. But I'm saying, this ain't like I wasn't there what they were studying. I'm studying what they were studying. I didn't, I didn't, I came back to studying some of the new shit that motherfuckers just now starting to study. Taking it to another depth. Taking it to another dimension. What it is, that's what these YouTube videos are. They're hieroglyphs. Of information that's giving you the basic premise but yet it's still for your interpretation just like when you go to the Mexican pyramids and you see if everybody's talking now about being Indian in the Mexican pyramids but see they're not talking about what them niggas was doing these motherfuckers and they all over Europe 
They built these little houses. I forgot what they called them. Nothing Lex Wood. He talked about it in a whole nother way. Really, he thinking they cavemen and shit. But no. Darkness. Darkness. And voodoo. And voodoo. You get locked in the darkness for at least five days. You go to the holy of holies of the of the temple. The, the, the voodoo temple. Whichever. Wherever you're at. You go hold it the inner of it, and you're locked in there five days in the dark. Why? Why? For one, sitting in the darkness begins to shut down that conscious talk, conscious chatter. After a while, it'll chat itself out. Your pineal gland. begins to activate. It doesn't just activate in sunlight. It activates in darkness as well. So this whole time where the ritual start losing their esoteric meanings and just become commercialized, you have to look for the science, what was left for you in it. And that was in your method, the darkness. You find light. Hey, from darkness came light. Just you understand them simple little haiku quotes I call it. Your shit begins, your melanin, I mean not your melanin, your pineal begins to activate in that darkness. And you're able to become face to face with yourself and your reality. And also, when you're quiet, it allows for those higher energies to flow. And you begin to have these experiences with meeting into dwarves, dragons, fucking sea turtles, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But it's the darkness. That's what I'm talking about. That's what these videos are. You have to you have to start Understanding the, the premise of it, the base of it is, hey, know that your interpretation of knowing yourself and making it yours. So, I hope y'all have had a good earful of my, my brief history about me, uh, my uh, multidimensional travels. As far as uh, moving up the scale and vibrations and frequencies, uh, what we're doing, why I do, why I should now really to get back into leaving. Like I said, I try to give the gist of it. I don't try to talk and give you the long fucking story, because I can, but it's so many other people doing the feeling recording space, because you're Right now, the tensions ain't that long. So, try the dark. Try it. But understand, our time and our age, what are we doing? Why so many of these brothers, not so many, but why pertinent brothers are continuing to drop information? Because even though they may not, we don't, we don't want to come down. That's their work. My wife tells me all the time. <laughs> She's like, you understand this, not just from an intellectual, you understand it. So you need to tell people, and not your way, but their way. And not being so hard, because I was, like I said, I'd be hard on myself. Like, I don't be, you know, all of the, the spirit people be coming to holler at you. And she said, they, they always say with you, that they don't have to. You know already. Like you know. Like you the one not walking in what you are what you know you know. You know already. You understand this shit. You're down here just down here. Fun. Man, she told me that shit, I looked at her crazy. What the fuck? Yeah, nigga, you down here just having fun. You didn't You've been here a few times and you know it. So now you're just having fun. It's like I always tell her. So I'm going to come back. 
<laughs> I ain't doing that thing like niggas talking about that. I want to see. I'm, and I'm going to remember. I'm working that out now with myself. You going to remember. I'm setting up little symbols of conscious. Embedding them in that soul's con So I can see. What became of. Because this is our great temple. These our temples of the sun and the moon. This is our anchor watts. This is our hanging gardens in Babylon. This is our uh, great serpent mound. And what they call Giche Manuto. The great serpent mound. Yeah, man. Yeah. That's our, this, these videos, these lectures, this is our work. This is how. So, with that, I hope y'all get an understanding of what I'm saying about it. And, and, and able to draw the connections to what I'm saying about it. <laughs> but if not, you know, it's, it's always this. And that's what these videos were and that's what they are this is our way of leaving the knowledge in the stone peace